These are the top 10 most wanted women in One Piece. They are the baddest of the bad, so bad that their numbers are so high as a direct result of said badness. Starting with the 10th most wanted female criminal of all time, Nico Olvia, with a mighty 79 million berry bounty. You know, for the longest time, I genuinely thought her name was Nico Olivia, but her name is probably a reference to the ruins of Olvia because of archeology span and such. Her name in Katakana would be Oribia after all. And Nico Olvia's bounty is the exact same as Nico Robin's initial bounty, 79 million berries apiece. They also share the exact same birthday, the same voice actor, and the same character design. Olvia is a Robin reskin, but Olvia is only one of two women on this list who was not a pirate. And it's actually very difficult to get a bounty if you're not a pirate. So Nico Olvia had to do something particularly naughty, which was to seek out and read the forbidden mystery cubes. But what's more impressive is that Olvia is also only one of two women on this list who is not a Devil Fruit user. She achieved 79 million berries completely free fruit free which we cannot say for the ninth most wanted woman and or girl, Jewelry Bonnie. So we've made a pretty big leap now from 79 million to 320 million berries. And you wanna know why? It's because there's really only a handful of prominent women in One Piece. And to prove this point, let me tell you the 11th highest female bounty in One Piece, which is Wenda from Where's Wally? Because during Wano, One Piece did a crossover and made an Onigashima themed Where's Wally. And as a result of this, Wally, Oddlaw, Wizard White, Beard, Woof, and Wenda were also given special bounties of 65 million berries. This is not a joke. If we take every canon and non-canon character in One Piece, then Wenda ends up as the 11th most wanted female pirate in the world. But even though she's a pirate, Jewelry Bonnie's bounty has very little to do with that profession. Bonnie is of course the beloved daughter of Bartholomew Kuma, and it's very important to keep Bonnie under control in order to keep him in line. Also, Bonnie is half world noble, which was probably inspired by her real life counterpart and Bonnie who was a noble turned pirate who quote, was considered a good catch, but may have had a fire temper. She supposedly stabbed a servant girl with a knife. Which is interesting because in Jewelry Bonnie's introduction, it was actually Capone Gang Beige from the next table over who stabbed someone with a fork. What would you rather be stabbed with? Knife or fork? Or spoon? Spoon sounds rough. Let me know in the comments. But our fictional Bonnie is also known to have carried sapphire scale, an extraordinarily rare disease. And all of these factors together even scared poor Widow Sakazuki when he heard that Jewelry Bonnie had escaped. Bonnie also holds a pretty impressive record as she is currently the youngest person to have a bounty over 100 million berries. Bonnie is actually only 12 years old, but looks a lot older due to her manipulation with her age age fruit, and at the mere age of 12 commands a whopping 320 million berries. In fact, there's only one character in recorded fictional history to have had a higher bounty than Bonnie by her age, but she's also on this list, so we'll get to that in a bit. But before that bit, we have our eighth most wanted woman, Nami. Now, Nami was a bit of a slow starter in One Piece. She was introduced in chapter eight and performed assorted pirate activities for 10 10 years until the world government finally saw fit to issue her with a bounty. And what did 10 years of hard work get Nami? A bounty of 16 million berries. Whilst co-worker Usopp was awarded an initial bounty of 30 million for doing arguably much less work. I guess the gender pay gap is real, or at least the gender pay out gap. Now, while I agree that Nami has more than earned her place here, the in-world reason why her number is so high isn't because of anything that Nami has specifically done. Her entire bounty net worth is purely due to her association with Luffy. Nami is an example of what I like to call lazy bounties. Lazy from both Oda and the characters in the series. For example, Nami's next bounty rise was after Dress Rosa to 66 million berries, but that was because most of the Straw Hats were given a flat 50 million increase because the world government knew that Luffy's crew, they were dangerous probably, but didn't have any information about what the individual members could do. So Commodore Brand New wanted to go home early that day and just gave them a 50 million increase across the board. And then the same thing happened again after Wano. Most of the Straw Hats were given given a flat 300 million berry increase. But Nami is at a point where she does have the substance to back these numbers up. She can quite literally control the weather. And if you give her enough time to prepare, then she is capable of the most devastating attacks within the entire crew. What we can also say with certainty is that Nami is the most wanted person in this world whose name begins with Nami. The second most wanted Nami is Nami Ayamuro, a real life J-pop singer who according to episode of Sky Island is worth 25 million berries, which is a reference to concluding her 25 year long music career. 
But Nami can also tank a pretty fierce headbutt from our seventh most wanted woman in the world, Ulti, who has a very satisfying even 400 million berries, which is very impressive for a 22 year old. In fact, Ulti is such a physical beast that she even went head to head with Luffy. And I mean literally head to head. And in the end, even an emperor of the sea wasn't enough to bring Ulti down. Although Nami did take that opportunity to steal the win, very bad manners of her. All up, Ulti fought Luffy, Yamato, Big Mom, and then, only then, finally fell to Nami. So Ulti was the tankiest Toby Roper member by far. That combined with her obvious aesthetic appeal, took the fan base a bit by storm, and in the World Top 100 character poll, she ranked in 56th place, which actually makes her the most popular member of the Beast Pirates as a whole. I'll say that again, the most popular member of the Beast Pirates, which includes Queen, King, and the King of Beasts himself, Kaido. And you know, I briefly thought about including Jack in that sentence, but then I remembered that no one would have expected him to be popular anyway. But also controversy, because Ulti was subject to a bit of an artistic whoops -a -dick in chapter 1012, where in the magazine version, she was accidentally drawn without her mask and it revealed nothing, nothing of note, because Ulti is just a perfectly regular Pachycephalosaurus looking woman. Now the most wanted woman on this list who is not a pirate, Bello Betty, one of the highest ranking members of the Revolutionary Army and specifically the commander of the East Army. In addition to her bounty, Bello Betty is known for being very rude. Like for example, that one time where she put her shoes on the meeting table at Momoiro Island. I mean, who knows where those shoes have been? Well, actually, Actually, we know. Those shoes just came from the Lucia Kingdom, which before it never existed, was best known for agriculture, specifically the export of Moda's milk. So you just get your filthy farm shoes off my meeting table, Bello Betty. Also, Bello Betty's character design is based on a painting by Eugene Delacroix called Liberty Leading the People. And here you can see a figure created to personify the French Revolution. They even gave her a name, Marianne. But Etchira Oda took the most inspiration from Marianne's exposed chest, which Bello Betty quite happily embodies. Okay. Absolutely crazy connection here though. Bello Betty isn't the only character inspired by Marianne. There's actually a character straight up named Marianne in One Piece, and you probably know her better as Miss Golden Week. And despite the fact that this doesn't suit her character or gimmicks at all, Miss Golden Week's pirate epithet is the flag bearer of freedom. But Miss Golden Week's bounty is only worth 29 million berries, so she missed out on being here by quite a bit. With Bello Betty, 457 million berries is it's quite impressive, but I'm actually surprised that it isn't even higher because her devil fruit seems to be the linchpin of the entire revolutionary army. Bello Betty has the Kobukobunumi, which increases people's fighting spirit and strength at the cost of scripting and encouraging speech to say. Bello Betty can turn any group of people who can hear her into a superhuman militia purely through the power of speaking sentences. I mean, she can't mind control people. She can't make them do something that they don't want to do. But if they do want to fight, then Bello Betty can give them the power to do the thing it is that they do want to do. So if you gave this woman some sort of global communication snail, like what Uta used in Film Red, Bello Betty could have the entire planet rebelling against the world government by lunchtime or breakfast time or dinner time. It really does depend what what time she makes the speech. Breaking into the top five most wanted women, we encounter Black Maria, another member of the Beast Pirates whose Vivia Card data book entry states that her hobbies are quote, romantic relationships. And given her overly amorous nature, you could say that that's written all over her face, but it's also quite literally written on her back where we see the kanji Jonan, which means woman trouble. So as a result, Black Maria receives some, how shall we say, special treatment within the Beast Pirates. She is one of the Toby Roper, but even then she holds a bit of an enhanced status. Because while this is only ever implied, it's likely that she and Kaido have quite the intimate relationship and the rest of the crew are aware of this. And so from time to time tend to doubt Black Maria's actual abilities. And you know your position is in trouble when Jack is doubting you. So despite being an ancient Zoan user and despite being colossal by default, Black Maria's true danger has nothing to do do with physical abilities. Black Maria's most deadly skill is the illusion mist, a very vaguely defined substance, which causes a target to hallucinate. In the only use case in the series, Black Maria used it to make Nico Robin see her mother, Nico Olvia. And so for a brief moment, we actually had three of our top 10 most wanted women in the same place, even though one of them was fake. Here's the thing though. We don't know if Black Maria's illusion mist is part of her devil fruit ability because she's an ancient Zoan, not a mythical Zoan. That's an important distinction because mythical Zoans are the ones that get the more magical 
magical powers, and ancient Zoans tend to stick to more scientifically accurate powers, like Triceracopters and Pteranodon face cannons. However, Black Maria is one of the only, if not the only character in the series to just defy the laws of Devil Fruits. Black Maria was able to change her hybrid Zoan form because she felt it wasn't beautiful enough. Here's what she looks like, and here's what she should look like, according to Oda. And I can only imagine that Black Maria has a bit of a Nami effect happening, a bounty number being more arbitrary than anything else. I really don't see why she is more valuable than Ulti. It's more like the world government knows that she's a close associate of Kaido, but they don't really know much beyond that. So a bunch of generic numbers later, we've landed at 480 million and the fifth most wanted woman in the world. But the chasm between the fifth and the fourth can only be described as gaping, because next up we have Nico Robin, taking us dangerously close to the billion berry threshold with a bounty of 930 million, which is a massive jump from her previous bounty of 130 million. The world government saw fit to give her an 800 million berry increase all in one go. Who would have thought that this mere child being hit by a tomato would one day pose such a threat to global stability? So as seems to be a bit of a theme with the most wanted women, Robin's primary danger is in strength, although she does have an unreasonable quantity of that as well. In fact, she can even use Fishman Karate, despite being neither fish nor man. But Robin's threat is far more profound than any punch fighting ability. Nico Robin is the only person in this world who can read the ancient language inscribed on the poneglyphs, at least naturally. There are other fabled methods of reading this information, like awakening the third eye of the three-eyed tribe, but Robin only needs two eyes. And honestly, I reckon she'd be able to do just fine with even one, and she'd look much more like a pirate as well. Yar me, poneglyphs is probably what she would say. What this means though is that she and she alone can learn and distribute the true history of the world, which is, uh, well, not a good look for the world government, not a good look at all. Robin is also 30 years old, which is almost exactly the median age of the top 10 most wanted women. But the chasm between number four and number three can only be described as not gaping. Charlotte Smoothie clocks in at 932 million berries, a mere two million ahead of Nico Robin. And to illustrate that works out to just over half a sham or half a butchy, who are collectively worth seven million berries. And speaking of sham, if we were doing the live action version of this list, then she would definitely qualify and has certainly had quite the impact on this fan base, as you can see demonstrated on this graph, which chronicles sham thirst over time. As you can see, we experience a rather sharp increase in 2023 with a record high number of real people now wanting sham of the black cat pirates to be the mother of their children. In regards to mothers and children, Smoothie is the 14th daughter and 35th child overall of Charlotte Lin Lin and has worked her way up the family hierarchy to be considered the third most powerful individual within the Big Mom Pirates. And our main characters have been absurdly lucky to have never needed to face off against her directly. Smoothie's devil fruit abilities are quite frankly disturbing. The Shiba Shiba no Mi allows her to extract liquid from anything by wringing them like a wet towel, which was notably used to produce some sweet, sweet giraffe juice. But there's more to Smoothie than that though. She's also a master of hockey, sword combat, and even has a master's degree in general sadism. But thanks to a lot of fates and twists, Smoothie has never had the opportunity to unleash her full strength on our crew. Whole Cake Island itself was too chaotic. And while Smoothie was present on Wano for the entirety of the Wano arc, she kept falling down the waterfall with the rest of the Big Mom Pirates. All right. Let's get serious now. Because the second most wanted woman in the world is Boa Hancock, who has one of the single biggest bounty leaps in recorded fictional history. The bounty prior to becoming a warlord was 80 million berries. And after being unceremoniously dumped from that position, the world government saw fit to increase that by almost 1.6 billion berries. But what makes Boa Hancock worth that much? Well, it's because she is nigh on undefeatable. And if you engage her, you're much more likely to end up on the floor under her feetables. Because with the combination of the Mera Mera no Mi and Boa Hancock being regarded as the most beautiful woman in the world means that if someone feels even slightly a certain way about Hancock, then you are already out of the fight. We've even seen a vice admiral brought to his knees. Momonga had to stab his own hand to focus his mind on pain just to avoid being turned into stone. Which is great and all, he's not stone, but he's equally as ineffective in this state as well. So whether you're affected by Hancock's powers or not, you still end up practically useless. Even Emperor of the Sea and Cherry Pie Appreciator Blackbeard was terrified to let Boa Hancock go because he knew that all she needed was a second and he would have been turned to stone just like that. Even then, there's a woman out there who surpasses this power. Before we get to her though, here's a section I like to call unknown, but probably, because there's a lot of notorious women in this world with bounties that have yet to be revealed. Such 
features Blackbeard's very own Katarina Devon. She is known as the most dangerous female pirate to have ever been imprisoned in Impel Down, so she's a pretty big deal, and I imagine that her berry value reflects that. It's also worth bringing up Shaki. She's a retired pirate now, but almost certainly still has a rather large active bounty, because you don't get to retire from all of the crimes you've already committed. Elden Yon, or Gloriosa, as a former Rocks Pirate member, is also gonna have a pretty high number on her head as well. And we also have Whitey Bay, the only known female pirate to serve directly under Whitebeard. And also, we shouldn't forget Emporio Ivankov, who is certainly one of the most wanted women in the world, but only sometimes. But our number one 100% most wanted woman in the world, with a 4,388,000,000 berry bounty, is Charlotte Linlin. Not just the most wanted woman, but one of the single most powerful and terrifying people to have ever lived. She is physically insurmountable. If Lin Lin encounters you in battle, there is no option. You cannot fight, there is only run. But it doesn't stop at breaking your body, because Lin Lin can also manipulate your soul. And Charlotte Lin Lin has a bounty so high that the people who assign the numbers got to be a bit creative, as the 88 in her bounty can be read as haha, meaning mother. Charlotte Lin Lin also established half of the two great matriarchies of the One Piece world, which are apparently the Charlottes and the Nikos, as they dominate 40% of this list. And in addition to the world government wanting her ever, ever so badly, Charlotte Lin Lin has also been more generally wanted by at least 43 men who all at one stage became her husband. And so former Emperor of the Sea Charlotte Lin Lin will almost certainly remain as the most wanted woman to have ever lived in One Piece. And if you need more One Piece content, which we all know you do, then I would highly suggest this video next.